Assalamu alaikum, it's Samir from Samir's Eats. I'm hanging out in the middle of nowhere in the woods of Warren, New Jersey, and we're gonna check out this hidden gem, Silk Road, where they serve up authentic Afghani cuisine. favorite appetizers to get at an Afghan restaurant is the ashik with the mantu. So right here I have a combination of vegetable and meat dumplings. So if you get the meat dumplings, they'll top it with lentil, yogurt, and uh, some mint. And if you get the vegetable dumplings, they'll top it with the meat sauce. So next up we have the bolani kadu, which is a uh, pastry filled with butternut squash and Afghan spices. So let's check this out. It's crunchy, it's sweet. This yogurt sauce makes it more savory. Great combination. All right, so uh, complimentary, you always get the shepherd salad, right? So, I don't know, sometimes I feel like this is a waste. Um, unless you have dry food, it, it, it complements dry food. But when you have this in front of you, like like this, this plate, I, why waste, why bother wasting your stomach space on, on, on a shepherd salad, but you know what, we'll give it a whirl anyways. But now here's the main stuff. This is why we're really here. We're really here for this, the meat, the carnivore in meat comes out. Rawr! Unleash the power within. So where do I begin? Lamb chops. Mm. I don't know what to say. It's full of flavor. The candy spices and it's charred perfectly like You gotta eat it with your hands. <laughs> Don't get all fancy on me with the with the knife and the, the fork. So they they marinate the lamb chops for a few hours in their Afghani spices. And one thing that they do really well is they don't overcook the meat. Um, this is like medium, medium well, you know. Um, so they don't dry it out. So it's very tender and juicy. I've been neglecting their special non you've seen cook up in the kitchen it's very easy to neglect it especially when you got beautiful meat on a bed of kabuli palau with the carrots and the raisins i'm gonna try the bread with some chicken kebab bread is so soft fluffy the chicken kebab is very juicy it's tender inside and very flavorful they spend a lot of time marinating this meat you could tell also part of this combination, we have what they call shami. It, it could be a, a, um, a beef kebab, a kubi day, but um, it's called a shami. What can I say? It's, I'm speechless. All this, I know you eat this every day, but then I'll be 400 pounds. So the chef got overly excited that I was here and he said, no, oh, Samir, I know you like steak. So he brought me some filet mignon kebabs. Ooh, very soft <clears throat> and tender. It almost melted in my mouth, almost. So the chef served this with what they call ladam palau. Basically it's baglani rice uh, blended with spinach. What's up, Mustafa? How's everything? Good, alhamdulillah, man. Food was amazing. Like, one of the best Afghan restaurants I've been to. So, tell us, when did you start? How long ago? What, I mean, I know it was your parents that started it, so. You know, we took whatever money we had, took a big risk, and we opened up a 1,000 square feet, 42 seat restaurant. It was, it was tough, but alhamdulillah, you know, word of mouth spread, and yeah. you know, People learn about what halal meant, you know. You bring a lot of the culture into the restaurant. It's very cozy, it's homely. You know you gotta end your meal with chai. And let's throw baklava into the mix. Tea's phenomenal. You can taste the cardamom, it's uh, milk base, it's, wow. It's yummy. 
really yummy. It's all delicious. I've never had a meal here that I really just didn't enjoy. Um, I just had one and I'm so full, I'm, I just need to unbutt my pants because I'm just like, it's just, it's delicious. Yeah. Silk Road is basically part Silk of the Road is basically, yeah, this is like we probably our favorite school, restaurant. College, now we're engaged. <laughs> I used to work um, here. Right. Silk Road is like... Yeah. Yeah. We just yeah. come here. We come here. We've come here for like the last Forever. three anniversaries, I think we've had. <laughs> yeah. I had an amazing meal, alhamdulillah. It was phenomenal. Do yourself a favor and drive out to Warren, New Jersey. It's a little under an hour from the city, but it's well worth it. And look, I mean, it's family oriented. It's definitely a spot I would bring my family, you know, and, and kick it out here for whether it's your birthday, whatever, anniversary. This is a great spot. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Samir's Eats, it's where it's at. Oh, and I also got a Snapchat account. That's like really weird. Uh, yeah, right there. Yeah, that's it. Bless up, people. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>